how's it going? Stabman coming back at you once again today, and uh, I'm just going to show you some stuff that I got from Amazon. Uh, they recently price matched, at least in two cases here, two particular Blu-rays that I have been looking to get for a fairly decent price for quite some time now. And they price matched Best Buy as they tend to do, but there was another one I was thinking about getting that also had dropped to $5.99 at Best Buy. Unfortunately, when I went there, uh, when I went on their website, they didn't have it in stock at my local Best Buy. They didn't have any of these in stock at my local Best Buy. So I just decided to go ahead and get them on Amazon when Amazon price matched them. Unfortunately, it took them a bit more time for the third one I was thinking about getting. And by the time that I could have gotten it, when I went into the Best Buy the other day, I was just like, eh, I don't really want it anymore. Because it's just it's so annoying to me. And I'm like, I'll, I'll get it eventually. It was Dumb and Dumber 2. I haven't seen that yet. And it dropped down to $5.99. But I didn't know if it was something I really wanted because I don't know. Like, I've heard bad things about that movie. I heard it was really freaking bad. I just want to see it because I liked the first Dumb and Dumber and I wanted to see the second one, you know? So eventually I'll pick it up, but $5.99 may be a bit too pricey for me. Maybe I'll wait until I can find it for sub $5. Either way, I went ahead and picked up two titles that they, uh, two additional titles that they had dropped down to $5.99 each. And that would be Ted, first off here. Ted, I have been trying to see for the longest time, just like. With Dumb and Dumber 2 only, this one I've been waiting even longer. Because this one, I guess it sold so freaking well that they never had to drop the price at all, ever for any reason. And I have been struggling to find this for a halfway decent price ever since. Like, I found it for 8 to $10 typically, but never do I find it for around the $5 price range. Freaking never. And it drives me nuts because it's like, but there are so many freaking copies of this out there. How did this not... Everybody loves this movie. There are so many copies of it. They mass produce the freaking thing. How are there not any copies used somewhere for $5? I don't know what the case with that is. But either way, $5.99. Finally got Ted. Very happy about that. Now I just have to worry about getting Ted 2 for a halfway decent price. I guess 5 to 6 to, five to six bucks would be my price point for that as well um i've heard great things about this movie now when it first came out when i first saw the trailer i thought that looks kind of stupid but now that i've actually seen some of the clips from it and i've heard so many good things about it uh i really wanted to see it i thought well clearly i made a mistake clearly this is actually hilarious and i need to check it out so there you go ted for 5.99 not the best deal but it is Still, even though it's March, it's still kind of the doldrums, man. It's still kind of hard to find a halfway decent deal, at least when you're looking at getting things new. And this was new, so there you go. $5.99 for Ted, not too bad. And then next up for $5.99, I picked up Chef, another price match from Best Buy. And this is a movie directed, written, and starring Jon Favreau. If you don't know who Jon Favreau is, just look at... Didn't he do, like, every Iron Man movie, or at least the first few? John Favreau is a very talented filmmaker and a very talented actor and all that stuff. He's just a very talented guy. So, when I saw this movie on Netflix, I think it was last year I watched this on Netflix, uh, I wasn't too surprised that it was a very good movie, but... I was surprised it was as good as it was. It's a very, very good movie. I highly recommend it to anybody who likes any kind. Yeah, it's a romantic comedy, but it's more... It just feels more real. It's one of those romantic comedies that feels more real and true to life, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I highly, highly recommend this. Yes, it's not... Uh, people have seen... They, they have done these, like... There's, like, a movie like No Reservations and shit, you know? They have done these movies where romance blooms in a uh, in a rush restaurant or something like that. You know, they've done movies like that in the past several times. It's not a new concept, but 
What John Favreau does with it here with Chef is very freaking good. If anybody is watching in another country, this goes by a different name. I don't remember what it's called, but just looking, it has pretty much the same exact cover art, only it's called Chef here instead of the alternate name that it has in other countries. So, yeah. Another thing I really like about this is John Leguizamo has a very good role in this. It's been a long time since we've seen him given a halfway decent role. You know, for the longest time he's been Manny in the Ice Age movies, and I'm sure he's been happy to do that, but it's always nice to see him taking on roles kind of like this every now and then because I love the guy. I love John Leguizamo. I think he's one of the funniest comedians I've ever seen. Love him. So $5.99 to pick up Chef and have it in my collection. Very good deal. Very happy about that. And then last but not least, there was one deal that wasn't a price match, but was a deal that I could not say no to. And it was a deal that was on Amazon through, I think it wasn't even just done, I don't think it was done by Amazon. I think it was like somebody else was doing a sale. Somebody else who sells their items on Amazon was doing a sale for this particular item. The lowest price I had seen it before was $12.99. was a little bit too high for me, but this time... It went down to $9.99, and for this particular version of this movie, I said, I'm not going to chance it. There were only 20 copies left, and I didn't want to wait until I got my gift card from Amazon or something like that. I said, screw it. I'm going to get it right away, and that would be Natural Born Killers, the Diamond Lux Edition. This is the edition to get on Blu-ray, my friends. It's the 20th anniversary director's cut of natural born killers and it's in the diamond lux packaging here of course it's got like a little magnetic here i'll show you it's got like a little uh magnetic uh strip here to keep these flaps closed and then you open it up and uh it's nice and glossy and shiny and honestly doesn't really attract many fingerprints from what I can tell. There's the director's cut there. And then on the other side you get on, the theatrical cut as well. So if you want to watch the theatrical cut, there's the theatrical cut as well. Very, very cool packaging and I'm very glad to have this because this I believe has all the special features from the director's cut plus an additional yes I'll look at the back here an additional feature at Natural Born Killers Method in the Madness. Director Oliver Stone, editor Hank Corwin, and technical advisor Dale Dye unleashed the cinematic tools of controlled chaos they used to make the film. That's really cool. Very, very happy to finally have this in my collection the way I wanted it. You recall I recently picked up the digibook of this and it came just thrashed in the worst condition possible i thought well it's the digibook it's going to be great i love digibooks and what better way to get natural born killers than in a digibook form well apparently the digibook is only the theatrical cut and it arrived with like sticker residue that could not would not ever come off and it was falling apart and ugh, i don't want to tell the story no i'm just ugh. let's just not mention that i got that all right let's just Focus on the positives here. I got the Diamond Lux edition of the movie with the theatrical cut and the director's cut and the uh, all new content you can't get anywhere else apparently. All in one beautiful shiny package here. Very, very nice. Love it. And if you want to know what it looks like just inside the gatefold here, there you go. Very, very cool stuff. Very happy about that, man. I mean, yeah, it's 10 bucks. I normally wouldn't spend 10 bucks on a Blu-ray, but uh, this is the Diamond Lux. The Diamond Lux versions of the movies usually go for 15 to 20 bucks. So 10 bucks is a really good deal, especially for natural born killers. So very, very nice indeed. So that's that's it, guys. That's all I got. I just got uh, these three titles here from Amazon and not much else. Uh, at least when it comes to newer stuff. But I did go out thrift shopping and I did find some things there. And that 
is what I'll be talking about in my next video. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later. Peace.